And now we've got a great opportunity for young kids in Detroit. We, they, Detroit Public Schools is offering free Montessori programs, and here to tell us all about it is Nicola Turner, who is launching the program, Kathleen Keenman, president of Mayberry School in Detroit, thank you for being here, Kelly Stevens, a Montessori teacher at Spain School, and Simone Berry, a Montessori teacher at Edison School. Ladies, thank you so much for being thank here. You. Thank you for having us. I get to hang us. out with, as everybody knows, some of my favorite people, educators. Yes. So we're delighted to have you thank guys you. here. So how are you able to offer this for free? That's a wonderful question. We're able to offer it because it's the funding that we typically would get for our children. So it's like a regular classroom. We're just bringing a Montessori education program into the schools. Okay, so can any child register for these programs? How does that work? Any child can register. They have to be between the ages of four and seven. We have mm -hmm. three of our locations, Spain, Edison, and Mayberry. Okay, this is very exciting. So now I told all of the ladies that I went to Montessori school as a kid, but what makes Montessori education unique and different? Well, it's unique because it's individualized, so the students learn at their own pace. They do a one-to-one -one lesson with their teacher, or they work in small group with our beautiful materials. Yeah, and Kelly's going to do a table yes. demonstration. And once the work is introduced to the child, they're able to go at any time to select that work off the shelf and work on it as long as they want. Now, that I remember that from Montessori school. <laughs> I could work on stuff as long as, everybody yes. else might start doing mm -hmm. something else, but you're allowed to do yes. what you want for as long as you want. Yes. All right, so tell us about the demonstration you brought here. This is the knob cylinders. Um, this is in the sensorial area of the classroom. Um, sensorial, so work on your senses. Yes, okay. hands on, all, right. all of their senses. Okay. Um, this will uh, prep students for pencil grip, so we would introduce mm. it like this, beginning to hold the pencils, and so when they pick the knobs up, they will pick them up like this and they can just take them mm. and sit them down. And they don't have to take them out and sit them in any order. They can just do it however they want. Yes. And so it teaches them how to pick things up, how to yes. grip, how to Preparing put things back in the right pencil. place. Yes, and okay. um, every cylinder has its own spot. So for example, if I tried to put this in here, this will let the student know that this is the wrong, um, right. this is the wrong spot. So we call that the control of error. It's mm -hmm. like your teacher cheat sheet. You know, okay. Your master copy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, and everything is on the shelf from simple to complex. I like this. So the materials, like you just said, are yes. teaching the students. Yes. So now tell me how you guys like to keep your classrooms. What are the classrooms like? Our classrooms are set up. We have our practical life, which is our uh, largest area of the classroom. That's what we would start out with in the classroom, teaching them skills such as pouring, mm -hmm. transferring. Um, then we have our sensorial area where you will see the pink tower and the cylinder knobs. Um, then next we have our math area. They will learn things such as the skittles that we have here for teaching introduction to fractions. Ah. Um, and then we have language and in Montessori we teach the sound first. I see. So those are our sandpaper letters. T, M, B. Yes, yeah, so I instead see. of saying T, we would say T, and we would trace, we would, if I can show you. Sure. <laughs> Put your hand here, and then you would check, and I would go T. I see. T. So we yeah, want to show it up, hold yes. it, and you would tr trace it yes. like that. Yes. Okay, Absolutely. so tell me what, what, what else are the classrooms like? Are they very colorful? Are they bright? How do you try? The classrooms are very natural, and we allow real life to take place within a classroom so that we Materials. can develop the whole child. Everything is very yes. authentic and natural. Real plants, real yeah. life activities yes. within a classroom. And as you can see the, how colorful the materials are, we let mm -hmm. the materials be our color in the classroom. Okay, well, you know what I remember, Kathleen? I remember learning to cut in Montessori school. I used to cut up a bunch of carrots and celery. Do you guys still do that kind of stuff? Oh, yes, yes. definitely. Okay. And with in our practical life. Okay. Right, again, with real objects, yes. not mm -hmm. plastic, not yes. mm -mm. There, there's glass, there's real knives. In real flowers, yes. real yes. plants, real yes. animals. Real mopping, sweeping. Very important part of our classroom. We, uh, we bring it into the classroom and we take the children out into the environment and they link what they learn with the materials to the classroom. I love it. This is great. So the Montessori programs are being offered at Edison, Mayberry, and Spain schools, as she told us. There's already a waiting list, but you can get on it. And for more information, go to the website, DetroitK12.org.